Hmm. You take credit cards? Why? What have you heard? Someone sent a YouTube message to me pointing to a video that he or she found. I watched maybe 20 seconds of the start. I figured, okay, this guy is worthy of my attention. So I thought I would share him once again. First time with you out there. While I eat pizza. All right, guys. So, you know, I'll be the first person to admit that I don't know a lot about a ton of stuff. You don't know a lot about a ton of stuff. Golly, that sure pins that down. We now know what you do and do not know, by golly. You don't know a lot about a ton of stuff. I will wager $48.48 that not knowing anything about a topic has never, ever prevented you from making assertions and opinions about the, that subject. Anybody want to take that wager? And so I'm going to say this straight up, that I don't know a lot about atheism. Nobody knows a lot about atheism because there is not a lot to know about atheism. Atheism, the lack of the belief that the gods exist. That's all there is. You do not know a lot. I suspect you don't know anything. But I have some questions for atheists that I'm trying to understand myself. Well, just how hard, hard could it be? She asked. I'm sorry, I did not ask that question. What the fuck was I going to ask? Just how difficult can it be to understand atheists? Don't believe that the gods exist. What is there to not understand in those simple, very few words? Seriously, I don't get it, he said. It appears to me that most atheists are Western-influenced, typically white, uh, and typically male. I'm... Sometimes a writer, and I have absolutely no idea at all what the phrases typically white and typically male could possibly mean. You mean sometimes atheists who are typically white sometimes are atypically white? Anyhow, could it be, big guy, that... The people that you tend to meet and interact with in person or on the internet or any other way just happens to meet your demographic? Do you not know that you are obviously Western influenced, typically or atypically white and typically or atypically male? Did you not notice that about yourself? Could it be that you just happen to encounter the people that are a lot like you? Now, there are, there are some female atheists out there, uh, and they typically subscribe to uh, very militant feminism. There he goes with the typ typically again. Typicallys. Typicallys. Wasn't he like a Greek hero? Typically, feminist? Dude, you just started your video saying you don't know a lot about most things. And then you implied that, hey, I don't know jack shit about atheists and atheism. And now you are telling us that female atheists out there are typically militant feminists. As if, I don't know, that was not a good thing. Oh my god, some women out there are actually thinking for themselves. And they're white. Can't have that, can we? Let's see where the fuck you're going with this. Uh, 
So my question is, and this is just from stuff that I've watched because, again, I don't have uh, an interest in trying to disprove atheism or anything like that. How in the world could anybody disprove atheism? If I lack belief in Bigfoot existing, how do you disprove my lack of belief that Bigfoot exists? Ditto all of the gods, dude. I, I literally just, I don't understand why. Uh, why is it that most atheists debate and try to tear down Christianity? No. I don't see a lot of atheists debating Buddhists or Muslims. You don't see atheists, a lot of atheists debating Buddhists. <laughs> and you don't know why you don't see that. Uh, or uh, Jews. Uh, it's mostly Christians that they debate against. Um, and uh, why if... I already explained why. I said no. It's only in your feeble little head. If you wanted to, you could find a shitload of videos out there. Debates between Muslims and atheists and Wiccans and Hindus and Jains and you name it. It's not just Christians. I'm sorry that you're not being persecuted like you very dearly desperately want to be, but you're not. If you don't believe that God exists, why do you have to spend so much time convincing others of the same thing? Because, no. Nobody's doing that, dude. It's all in your little brain, your little tiny walnut eyes. I'm not even talking the big England black walnut size. I'm talking the little tiny ones that they grow over here on this side of the pond. Brain. Little tiny brain. Tiny. It's all in there, up on the top of your head, in the vacuum. You know, between the ears, there's this little tiny walnut-sized brain. Maybe it's even like a hazelnut. It's not happening, dude. Don't worry about it. Like, unless you want to know why I love Jesus and why I think that Jesus is real. No, hazelnut. Nobody wants to know those things. Nobody asked. You don't have to share. You can just sit there quietly and look stupid, which, by the way, you're doing a hell of a job. Nobody cares why you love your imaginary pal up in the sky. Uh, I'm not going to spend my time convincing you of that. Uh, and again, that's why I don't really know a lot about atheism, because I don't have enough time to focus on my belief in Jesus Christ to focus on your non-belief in a god. But that's it. It took three seconds or less. You don't have time for three seconds. Lacking the belief that the gods exist. <sighs> wow, that took so fucking long. I need a nap now. Ah, oh, was it good for you too, baby? Three whole seconds? Uh, it seems counterproductive for me. It seems more like it should be live and let live. If your pursuit is intelligence, that's great. My pursuit is intelligence also. Uh, I very much believe in science. I very much believe uh, in a lot of things that you believe too. Uh, except for I believe that there is a God and you believe that there isn't. You mean gods. Plural. Tens of thousands of them that atheists lack belief that they exist. How many gods do you believe don't exist? So, I just want to understand. No, you do not want to understand. We all recognize this fact that you do not actually want to understand the fact that what atheism is, is the lack of belief that the gods exist. You do not want to understand that. We all know you do not want to understand that. 
We all know that you are a fundamentalist evangelical Christian, therefore you do not want to understand most things. Why come out and tell us, oh, I just want to understand, when you know that we know that is bullshit? Why, if you are so adamant about a God's non-existence, why do you spend so much time convincing other people of his non-existence as well? The answer is no.